Rig and Bench. Rig and Bench, episode 600. I don't know, we've done a lot. Trilogy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've done a whole compendium of them. Uh, Marshall Roy back again, surf casting extraordinaire. You might remember Marshall from the last time we gave him a pretty easy task, right? Spend under 100 bucks, two minutes, grab the lures that you need. He, he spent like $200, so failed. But um, we got him in here to load a red fin. I've never done that before. I've heard either. I've heard a lot about it. Yeah. I picked up a couple red fins to try and match some herring here this spring. Nice. Um, nice. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how you do it. Yeah, it's uh, I've never done it either. Like watching him go through it, I'm like, well, that's pretty self-explanatory, you know. But he gave some good tips and tricks on, you know, how to do it and then really why you load a red fin. So he said that not many people fish red fins without it being loaded because they just do not cast at yeah. all, which makes sense, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was pretty good. All right, let's learn how to load a red fin. You know, they typically cast like a potato chip. And once you load them, you still get the same action, very similar action. Um, and, you know, able to cast twice as far, um, especially into the wind. So, um, makes it a more versatile plug in your bag. So. To start, you know, unpackaging it. You know, it's got good hardware on there, but you know, I like to swap it out for some stronger stuff. Um, in the mineral middle plug world, red fins hold up pretty well to large fish. Um, there's some other mineral plugs out there that you can't trust as much. Um, so these are a great option if you want a trusty plug. So. First off, take all the split rings and the hooks off. So the hooks on these, um, you know, they look like a VMC, VMC, but they're not. Um, so, you know, you usually swap with the VMCs, just the regular 3X models. Um, so you can use 3 aughts or 4 aughts, um, depends on, you know, the action does change, um, but just test it out yourself, see what you like. So I'm going to swap it out with 3 aught uh, VMC troubles and some 7 aught um, owner split rings. Um, you know, very rigid split rings. They won't, it's harder to, uh, for a striper to pull them loose. So start putting those on right now. Do you ever put a flag on the back or a sea wash or anything like that? Yep, yep, you can. Um, you know, you can still fish these with, you know, regular inline hooks um, and like having a trailer on the end. Um, but, you know, I find it, these fish real well, you know, basic hook setup. So. So these owner split rings are pretty tough to open. Um, so definitely use split ring pliers. Um, definitely have sp uh, split ring pliers on you while you're out there in case you get a hook in you and you're able to undo the uh, split ring, detach the plug from you. So now that the hardware is, you know, reinstalled, um, Another note, you know, it comes with a split ring on the nose. You can keep that, but when you're fishing, you know, one of those paperclip style, um, what you call them? Anyways, you know, you have enough wiggle room so that it keeps the action looking good. So after here, you know, times to burn. Uh, it's time to burn the hole. So typically, you know, heat up a nail. So typically, you want to place the hole like right on smack middle of the head you know just press it in make sure you don't burn yourself get it back up if you need to So there you have it, you got your initial hole. Now from here, 
I like to use 10 cc's of uh, you know regular water. So take it. Um, so now you're able to seal this hole. Same idea. I'm gonna heat up this nail. just pack that plastic into that area. Sealed. Yep, so now that's sealed, um, you take your five minute epoxy, you know, I usually just dab, you know, mix it up, dab a little bit on top of that hole, um, just to make sure there's no water intrusion, so. Move to that step. Than the fumes. <laughs> Alright, so you can use your mixer here, mix up the epoxy. Mix it up well, it's gonna smell. That's the good part. Alright. You don't need a lot here. Um, I'll just let that sit. Um, you can leave a little bit of like a, some over pour on it and um, it shouldn't affect it too much. So five minutes later, it should be ready.